Dudes, Dudes Builder here. In this episode of Zig and Death, we're going to be talking about cross compilation in Zig. Uh, first of all, I want to give a big thank you to Ron Turner, who made a donation to the channel. Uh, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. Um, if anybody else wants to make a donation, you can find the link in the description of the video and in the channel homepage. So, Ron Turner, thank you very much. Um, the cross compilation uh, capability of Zig as a toolchain is uh, one of the most impressive things uh, that Zig has to offer. Uh, aside from the programming language itself, um, it, it makes it trivial to cross compile um, your Zig code and also your C code. And in the case of C, that's pretty much a big deal because historically it's been. Uh, Pretty difficult to cross compile C code uh, given all the different dependencies and, and very precise configurations that you have to have with different compilers. Um, in the case of Zig, you basically just download one file, which is the Zig uh, compiler and toolchain, and with that, you can cross compile uh, trivially, tri trivially with uh, uh, Zig, your Zig programs and your C programs. And we're going to be seeing uh, an example of that. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the build.zig that's going to allow us to, co to do uh, the cross compiling. Um, this basically, the first part is what you get from a default build.zig when you run zig init exe. Um, I just removed the comments. And basically, uh, this part here that deals with the main application that we're going to be compiling here is just what you get from the default build.zig. Here these two constants are making use of uh, these method calls, uh, the standard um, optimization option and the standard target options. Um, what this allows you to do is that if the user wants to specify a target or an optimization level at the command line when running zig build, they can do so. And then you can use those constants here in the target and options uh, properties of uh, this call to add executable. So uh, with this configuration, you basically will default to the native target and um, to the debug optimization level if the user doesn't specify anything else at the command line. But if they do specify something, um, then those values will overwrite uh, the native uh, target or the debug optimization level, which is basically what we've, we've been doing in the previous examples in this series. Um, here we have the typical uh, run command and run step. This is to be able to, to actually um, do the sig build run at the command line and it will be uh, running this generated executable that we have here. Next up we're going to have uh, an example of using uh, build.zig to cross compile our zig program to Linux uh, and specifically as we see here in the target the properties that we're defining here explicitly are the CPU architecture is going to be x86-64 the OS tag is Linux and the ABI is Muscle and uh, basically the most popular ABIs here are Muscle and GNU um, but you have a, a whole list of, of, of possible ABIs and possible OS tags and possible CPU architectures. These are uh, all enums defined in the Zig standard library to make it easy to specify here um, in your build.zig. And here in the optimization level, we are explicitly setting this to release safe. Okay. Our next example is going to be cross compiling to uh, Windows. Uh, once again, x86-64 as the architecture, uh, Windows as the OS tag, and uh, this time GNU ABI. And we're all for all these cross compilations, we're using the same main.zig file. In this example, um, we're going to be seeing how to cross compile uh, C code. So we have here a main.c and we're going to be cross compiling this to x86-64 Windows GNU. 
Um, it is cross compiling because I'm, I'm currently, uh, this is currently on a Mac uh, M1 machine. So basically it's Mac OS, the, the OS, and it's uh, the, the ARC64 architecture. So to achieve all of these uh, targets of x86-64, x Windows, and Linux, you do have to do uh, the cross compile. And since we are dealing with uh, a C program that's going to make use of the, the C standard library, we have to make this little call here of link libc to the executable. This will ensure that when we are going to compile this, we are going to be linking in the, the C uh, standard library, libc. Okay, and that's pretty much the end of the build.zig. Let's take a look at those uh, source files. This is main.zig, which is pretty much a standard um, Hello World in Zig. And we have our main.c, which is a standard uh, Hello World in C. Okay, and here we're making include of uh, stud.io.h. And that's why we need to link the C standard library where we are compiling or cross compiling this program. So um, here at the command line, if we do a zig build dash dash summary all, we are going to get um, all of those uh, different steps in the build.zig, which will cross compile. As we can see here, they were all successful. Uh, the main application used a debug um, optimization level and the native target because we didn't specify any additional command line options. Uh, here the main Linux is indeed using as we specified really safe and it's an x86-64 Linux muscle executable. This one is really uh, small x86-64 uh, Windows GNU and this one is release fast x86-64 uh, Windows GNU. Okay, and we can verify. Let's do a, a file zig out bin main. And as you can see, that's a Mac OS uh, executable. Let's do main Linux 64 bit elf. Let's do the main Windows. That is a P. E32 plus executable x86-64 for MS Windows and we have the main C win whoops forgot the extension there exe the and indeed that's a PE32 plus x86-64 also for MS Windows okay so indeed we were successfully uh, cross compiling all of those different um, uh, targets uh, both our main.zig and our main.c. Uh, when we're dealing with C, there is another option that we briefly mentioned when we were talking in the episode about dealing with C. You can use zig as a C compiler with zig cc. Here we specify main.c. Let's say that the output is going to be main c win. And here we can do a target equals x86 x windows GNU okay let's wait for that to finish gives us there uh, a couple of warnings but I think it was successful yes here we do have uh, the generated executable let's do a file on that and it says that it is so it's a PE32 plus executable Intel X8386. Uh, so it's a 32 bit um, executable for MS Windows. And we also have the generated PDB file, which is used by, um, I believe, Microsoft uh, Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio, I believe, um, has. Uh, information about the executable we can uh, we can double check that let's do a file main.pdb and yeah it says an msvc uh, program database okay 
So uh, that's another option that you have. You can use a, a Zig as a C compiler with ZigZC to do your cross compilation of your C code. And uh, the final thing that I wanted to mention is if uh, we do the Zig uh, build and we do specify, let's say here target equals x86, x86 uh, Linux muscle and let's also specify the optimization optimize equals release small okay and it says that it was uh, successful once again we have all of these other cross compilations from build.zig as you can see they were cached which is another advantage of using a Zig as a tool chain and as a compiler to do your cross compiling because you don't waste time recompiling if it's not necessary and our main one was uh, successful because this one did uh, have to change because now we're specifying a different optimization level and a different target so let's do a, f a file on zig out bin main and uh, there we go it's a 32-bit lsb it's an elf executable until 8386 so that's uh, yet another option um, by specifying directly the command line uh, options for optimization level and target for zig build and with that, that's basically everything I wanted to demonstrate. As you can see, uh, with a Zig, you can achieve cross compilation in a very easy and straightforward manner. Even if you're dealing with a C code um, or your Zig code. Uh, so I, I hope you can make the most out of this powerful feature. Uh, do the builder here. I'll see you in the next one.